एवरीवन यू आर अगेन वेलकम टू साइंस पर्कल इट यू प्रेजेंट्स मैथमेटिक्स एक्टिविटी सीबीएसई क्लास नाइन्थ यू नो आई हियर आई फॉरगेट आई सी आई रिमेम्बर आई डू आई अंडरस्टैंड एंड आई प्रैक्टिस आई एक्सेल सो फॉर योर प्रैक्टिस एंड टू एक्सेल योर सेल्फ I am going to show you the activity two, that is square root spiral. So the main objective of this activity is to construct a square root spiral. For that, prerequisite of this is the concept of number line, concept of irrational numbers, and Pythagoras theorem. So for that. The materials required: first, adhesive; second, geometry box; third, marker pen; fourth, a piece of plywood. Now, for this activity, we have to know about the theory. A number line is imaginary line whose each point represents a real number. Second, the numbers. Which cannot be expressed in the form of a p by q, where q is not equal to zero, and both p and q are integers, are called irrational numbers. You know that. For example, root three, root two, root five, pi, all etc. And Pythagoras theorem. You know the Pythagoras theorem. In a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the perpendicular. And base. So, in a triangle ABC, if B is in 90 degree, AC is the hypotenuse, AB is the perpendicular, and BC is the base. So, AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Now, how we will draw the square root spiral? First of all, we have to take a Plywood having a dimension, so whatever may be the dimension, the plywood will take, and we have to take a A4 size paper on it. We have to draw a line PQ of a length one unit by taking three uh, centimeter or two centimeter as usual for one unit as a choice. I will show you how to draw this, and after that we have to draw a line. Qx, which is perpendicular to the line segment PQ at the point Q. From Q, we have to draw an arc of one unit again, and which is called Qx at the point C. So we have to join P and C, which will be equal to root two, because PQ is equal to one unit. And QC is equal to one unit, so that the PC will be equal to root two. And again, at point C, we have to draw a right angle, a right angle triangle. Sorry, right angle, so that um, the perpendicular will be drawn at point C. And from CD, again, we will cut an arc of one unit. And you will join P D, which will be equal to root three. And taking P D as the base, we will draw the perpendicular at point D. And from that perpendicular, we will cut one unit. So at point E, so that D E will be equal to one unit, and we will join P E. So that P E will be equal to <coughs> root four, which is equal to two. Keep repeating the above process for sufficient number of times so that um, we will get a square root spiral. So, so now just to see, dear students, just you see, this is a line. P Q. This is P, and here it is Q. Now, just you take 
वन यूनिट लेट में वे आई विल टेक यूर थ्री सेंटीमीटर दिस इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर एज वन यूनिट लेट दिस वन इज वन यूनिट हियर यू जस्ट टेक हियर पी क्यू विच इज वन यूनिट एंड एट पॉइंट क्यू आई विल ड्रॉ द पपेनिकुलर This is Q X and we will take the arc of one unit like P Q is equal to one unit and we will cut this arc from P X and we will mark this point as C. So P Q equal to Q C equal to one unit. So you will join P and C. Which is equal to root two. This one is equal to root two. And at point Q, again we will draw the perpendicular. So sixty degree, one twenty degree. Then bisect this. This is ninety degree. We will draw this perpendicular at point C. This is C Y, and from C Y again we will cut one unit. There is the arc of a one unit. So this is the point which is marked as B C D equal to one unit, P C equal to root two, so that P D will be equal to root three. This one is. G. P D equal to root three. Again, at point D, we'll draw the perpendicular. And this is this. Q X. This is C Y. Let this is Z D Z. And from here we will cut the one unit again. This is E. And again at point E. We'll draw the perpendicular. And from this perpendicular again, we'll cut the arc of one unit, and we'll point this. I will mark this point as F. We'll join P F. Again, at point F. Uh, here, this is one. This is root two. This is root three. And this one is root four. This one is root five. And again, at point F, we'll draw the perpendicular. This is one unit. Again, the same arc of one unit will cut from this perpendicular. This is let F G, and will join P and G, which is equal to root six. Again, at point G, will draw perpendicular.
taken from this perpendicular will take a, will cut the arc of one unit again and the magnet h and join p and h which is equal to root 7 at point h again we will draw the perpendicular we will take again one unit from here and it is represented it is marked as i and join i to p and it will be going on so how much it will be possible so now if it is possible here this one is one unit this is two this is three this is four this is if you will represent this one as a number line this one is zero this one is one this is two this is three this is four and we can show this this one is zero to one and here we will show this one is zero to and this one is a root 3 and this one is as root 4 here will show this is root 4 equal to 2 and here uh, root 5 this one is a root 5 and in this way it will be going on you can show root 2, root 3, root 4, root 5, root 6, root 7 like this you can show in a number line and this one is the square root now let's go to the observation so from the diagram we have drawn already the square root spiral and from the diagram on actual measurement we can get PC, PD P, P, F, P, G, you know this, which one is where P, C is equal to root 2 and we can get the approximate value of root 2 by from the scale and root 3 which is equal to P, D and root 4 which is equal to P, we got that and its approximate value is equal to 2 and root 5 which is equal to P, F and we will get the approximate value from the scale and from this we got the result a square root spiral has been constructed and this activity can be applicable so with the help of this explained activity existence of irrational number can be illustrated and just for you the homework it is given you can do root 5 root 7 and root 8 and the number line also thank you very much for watching this video now I request you like, subscribe and share Science Pickle YouTube channel for next videos to watch first.